Lads, there are so many free skins in the new season of Fortnite, so I thought it'd be helpful if I gave you guys a complete list to make sure that you guys get your hands on every single one of these free cosmetics. Use code SARAHEART, by the way, to support my content grind. With the re-release of the Fortnite app to iOS, we have the new skin Catalina, and you can get this for free by playing on mobile in America or anywhere around the world but specifically on iOS in Europe. However, there's currently an exploit that'll let you unlock these cosmetics without a mobile device. And first you gotta join a creative match with a friend, leave that match, and then re-enter the match from an invite. From then on, you should be receiving XP towards these quests, and it's not really that much XP to gain, so you could definitely complete this in 30 minutes to an hour. I've already seen people walking around with this skin, so I know for a fact it is not that difficult to get. However, there are some free cosmetics that you will need a mobile device for, namely the Space Touch Serenity set, which is available to all Samsung device users who played from 2022 until August 18th of this year. And on top of the Galaxy skin that was already available to Samsung users, these are some of the primo free cosmetics I've ever seen in this game. We also have a pickaxe that you get from playing the Fall Guys mobile app. And I really like the colors on this one in particular. It definitely fits the Fall Guys style. In Rocket League mobile, we have a cosmetic known as the Dystro Gold Trim. And this will be usable on the Sideswipe within Fortnite. And a bit of a background for why they're doing this. Recently, Epic won a court case in Europe that allowed them to release their own app store onto Apple devices. And because of this, they've created apps for each of the games that that they own. And with the Universal Epic account, they've created a metaverse of sorts. Kind of funny considering the Web 3.0 and NFT people failed to deliver on that promise. There's also a free back bling that you get for signing up for email surveys and the link is on the screen right below. I believe this back bling completes a skin set that was already released, so it's kind of funny that Epic Games decided to do it that way. Some cosmetics that have been around for a while but are still available and I would recommend hopping on these if you haven't already because I expect them to disappear when Fortnite goes to chapter 6. We have Explorer Emil, and getting the skin is as simple as connecting a LEGO account to your Epic Games account. And once you do that and hop into LEGO Fortnite, you will have some quests that will allow you to unlock the Trailblazer TIE skin as well. So this is two free skins for pretty much no effort at all, so I'd definitely hop on these before they're gone. Now we've had the Survivor Llama challenges available for pretty much this entire chapter, but if you haven't gotten the top level of this cosmetic, just know that you have to reach top 10 with seven eliminations to obtain that. And it's actually pretty simple if you do this in squads. So grind these out early to make sure you get this before the chapter switch is over. We also have some new ranked rewards that culminate with a Marvel themed pickaxe. There's also a couple of sprays and a loading screen as well. And you could combine these with the Survivor Llama challenges, queue up into ranked with a squad and just get those done super quick. Every season of the festival mode has wristband challenges. And these wristband challenges will reward you with a free instrument that is actually universal and can be used with all of your emotes across any game mode that accepts emotes. There's also some ramp it up quests which I completed in under an hour and they reward you with a loading screen. And of course beyond that you have the free track of the festival pass which currently has a loading screen, two emotes, actually three emotes, and two instruments. So that's quite a bit and these are actually super fast to level up between the battle stage, the main stage, and the jam stages. Rocket Racing also launched a new season in season 4 and there are quite a few cosmetics here for free. Most of them are going to be weapon and vehicle trails. Even in the ranked mode, there is about 30 of these to obtain. But more interesting to the general player is going to be in the Inferno Island Challenge tab, where you can actually earn a music track and three different loading screens. Now in terms of Fortnite Multiverse, we all know that the Rocket Racing mode is the most down bad. And it's definitely going to need a major rework if it's really going to pop off and get a bigger player base. I'll be discussing that in a future video, so be sure to subscribe. Comment down below if this video helped you out. What cosmetics had you not heard of yet? And of course, use code SOURHEART in the Fortnite item shop to support this channel.